Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central, I'm your host Jack, and today we found the best moments when women get rejected. Now, let's jump right in, right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. Please, look at this, it looks like a little, um... Do I know you? We should get this. It looks like a little um, Christmas hat at the bottom. Look at. Are you talking to me? What are you talking about? I'm sorry. Are you talking to me? Yes. Who are you? What the hell? Why do you keep you following me, lady? Me. I'm trying to show you something over there. Who are you? Why do you keep following me around the store? Bro, I'm, I'm going to show you who I am. Unhand me. Who the f are you? Bro, who are you? I don't have time to be doing this. I'm gonna get security. Stop following me around the store. Bro, you are weird. I'm trying to show you. Stop you following me. Okay. Stop whatever. following me. What the f crazy psycho? Alright. This is the last draw. Stop following me around the store. I'm gonna scream. Are you you think this is funny? Like, acting like you don't know me? I don't know. I'm sorry. Who drove you here? Dang, she actually took that one like a champ. I feel bad for her, but this was kind of funny. Currently, I have a bet that my ex-boyfriend's gonna text me today saying he's sorry and he misses me. Now, it hasn't happened yet. It hasn't happened yet. But it will, it will happen because I, I really, I, that, it, it has to happen. It does. It hasn't happened yet, but I think it will. So I'm gonna go, guys. I'm gonna go. Legend has it this girl ended up losing the bet, but the next day she made the same bet, and the cycle repeats. My lesbian neighbors asked if I can help them get pregnant. They said they would like to do it the old-fashioned way as they aren't able to have a baby and are desperate. It's been six months now. We've been trying all this time and still no baby. I just don't have the heart to tell them that I had a vasect last year. A few moments later. Uh oh Oh, <laughs> game is game. Tricky, tricky. My man's had a game plan. So what, you're going to relax and I'm going to get you a coffee. Go on, sit down. Are you sure? Yes, go on, relax. I'll watch the dance. I'll be right back, okay? okay? I've literally just come home. Is she still there? Oh, my days. Wait, 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 look. She's still on the bench. Okay, so it's literally been like, I don't know, 15 minutes? <laughs> yep, keep looking around. Almost there. She can see me through the window. Yeah, no, I'm not down on the road. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Hey, sweetie. What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? Why are you up there? Why are you down there? Are you making my coffee up there or something? What coffee? What do you mean? You said you went to get me a coffee. What are you doing? Well, you, you just said you were going out for a walk and suddenly you're down on the bench. Oh, and I'm not very happy. Why aren't you not very happy? No, no, not the walk. Oh, that's the walk. Oh, okay, she's running. She's running. I need to change my name and move. Oh. Uh Baby? Oh, no. Hi, you okay? No. What's wrong? What do you mean, what's wrong? I've been out there for 20 minutes. You literally left to go for a walk about an hour ago. I've been watching you from up here. I'm, so, I'm really annoyed. You literally, you said to me, we went down there, we went onto the bench, and you said to me to wait there because you were going to go get me a coffee. Baby, you went out for a walk yourself. I was never even with you. That's not true. Baby, that's literally how it happened. You were with me. Don't lie to me, baby. I don't like it. Gorgeous. You were down there with me. We went out on a bloody walk. It's okay. It's no. all right. I think you just need some sleep. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. Warning, do not try this one with your girl. It might not turn out as funny as you think it will. It's be 100 times or pass it to the next person and double it. Just 100 times, that's it. Next. <laughs> next, next, yeah. I, I get it. 100 is crazy. Let's just do like a kiss on the cheek. That's fair. All right. What? What did you just do? <laughs> what was that sound? What was that? What, do you want a dry kiss? No, no, no. Do you go wet it? 
Well, she rejected him at first, so then he rejected her right back. Revenge at its finest. Me, are you guys dating or siblings? Oh, that's my sister. So who's the smartest sibling between you two? Oh, me for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna ask your sister three questions, and if she get all of them right, you both are gonna win her $100. Alright, let's get it, come on. You confident? Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. First question is, what's the capital of Australia? The letter A. Stupid or something. I mean, she she's kind of right, kind of wrong. But okay, next question: How many colors are there in a rainbow? Four. Oh my! Wait, what rainbow are you watching? There's seven. I'm colorblind. I'm gonna let you slide that one. This is the last question. If you don't get it, you won't win hundred dollars. It's a math question. What's zero times nine? Come on, you got this. It's an easy one. You have to get this one. Zero point nine. What the hell is even that? She's adopted. I'm nothing to do with her. <laughs> I didn't expect her to know the capital of Australia, but her answer was absolutely out of this world. But I guess she was technically right. What about you? I'm divorced. <laughs> huh? Wait, you're 20 though. Yeah, I got married at 18. Divorce? Yeah. Okay. Did you initiate the divorce, divorce or did I, he? Um, no, I like moved out to like take time for myself and then um, yeah, he went to Vegas and like went parties and like cheated on me. You said that you needed some space? Yeah, I just like was like suffering, not suffering, but like going through a lot of stuff. So I was like, you know, like I need like a mental like break kind of thing. Just because we had been together for so long, I feel like I just like kind of like needed to find myself kind of thing. So just to kind of get a better sense of things, you initiated the conversation about, hey, we should have some yeah. space. You moved out of the house. Mm -hmm. then he literally helped me move out did not come to my new apartment, didn't visit me, like nothing after I moved out, like completely ignored me. And then, um... You did say you need some space. I know, I know, but not... The lights are on, but no one is home. She practically left him and then gets mad when he goes out and does his own thing? That's not fair. Is that, is that all it is? It's just that it's a chain restaurant? No, it's cheap. That's what I keep telling okay, you. Okay, well, I, I, have, I have a rule, right, where I'm not going to take anyone I on the first... I don't care about your rule. Any guy has never had a problem with taking me anywhere I want to go, so why do you have a problem? I have a problem because you found you sound very entitled, very stuck up. I'm not entitled. I just know my worth, and my worth is not Olive Garden. Like clearly, like uh, do I look me, like Olive Garden? That's let, me, let me guess. You, you got standards. You got yeah, standards. like who? I understand you being pissed off. Bro even bought her flowers, and she's still whining about it. Hopefully, this guy realized he dodged a nuclear missile. I'm 38. I've never been there. Have you ever been there? Really, man, man. 38 years old. Really. I've never been there. No children or nothing. You sure miss a lot of life. Why do I have to get married and have kids to have a good life? You do have no good life. I do. You don't go nowhere. I do. I just got back from a trip. By yourself, no man. If you don't have a man, you ain't nothing. <laughs> really? I'm not nothing without a man, huh? You're not a lesbian, are you? <laughs> are you? No, I had a husband. Tell you that, huh? I still have... You what? I still have sex. I know you do, but that's not right. That's dirty. <laughs> Sleeping around like a Ah! It's one person. One person. Sleeping around like a 106 year old granny out here clowning her daughter for missing out on everything. This is hilarious. Well, my life insurance, like, we not married, why would your name be in my life insurance? Okay, so you mean to tell me we've been together for seven years and my name doesn't serve any substance to be in your life insurance? Okay, yes, I love you, but life insurance is for the wife. You're not ready to get married. I'm not ready to get married because you're not ready to get married. Like, you still in school, got all stuff going on right now. We not married. So, like, in the future, if we get married, I'm going to change it. I'll change the policy, but right now the policy is what it is. Oh, so I'm not your wife. Put on text messages and with your homies, I'm your wife. I'm oh wifey, I'm wifey, I'm wifey. Oh my god, okay, yeah, you wife, but you're not my wife. You're not legally my wife on paper. So I can't add you. I can't add you. You know what I'm saying? I told you, like, we get married, when we get married, in the future, I change the policy. Like, I ain't hey, going nowhere now about the What if something were to happen to you? Here How you am go, I going to live, drive, do anything that I need to do? Here you go with that. What if something happened to me? Ain't nothing going to happen to me. Why are you worried about that? This is real. We're here in 2023. Okay, all right. What, you going to kill me or something? You, get, you trying to kill me? No, I'm not trying to kill no, you. No, then what's the problem then? The problem is my name ain't in this goddamn insurance. Why I got to be on there? Seven years? That's almost a decade, babe. A okay, decade. Okay, seven years. Okay, seven years. Okay, listen. Do you know then, what can happen in Okay, you said when you finish school, we can plan a wedding, right? So when we get married, 
then I'm gonna add you to the policy. But for right now, that's my policy right there. Like we not married, so I can't add you on there. Why can't you do it now? Cause we not married. It's not even legal. If you ain't married, you can't add nobody no So now you want to go the legal route? That's ain't about nothing you know being saying, legal. Like, this is about the. You know what I'm saying like we not blood, we not married. Like you, like no, like you know what I'm saying? You not none of that. So why would I ask you my life insurance? Okay. How is she going to complain when she still hasn't committed to him fully? He has every right to want to wait till they're married. Truth or dare? And truth. Okay, I dare you to go up to a random guy and get his phone number. Okay, yeah, easy. Yeah. Never get rejected, yeah. Okay, let's go. Hi, sorry, you're really good looking. Can I get your phone number? You're approaching me? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm gay. Oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, so how did you go? Oh, I rejected him. He wasn't my type. <laughs> At first I respected her for walking away and taking the L, but then she claimed she rejected him. The footage tells no lies. Let me, let me borrow $20. Get the f out my face. <laughs> he was just trying to be romantical. That's some profitable riz. Does body count matter? No, I heard it doesn't. It doesn't f Better because it's a stereotype where boys can have a very high body count, but girls have to be below 10, and that's... You've heard about the about the key and the lock, right? If one key can open many locks, it's a master key, as opposed to if a lock is opened by many keys, it's a shit. That's what I'm saying. Dang, this dude came out with a full-on analogy. That's hilarious. Kiss or slap? I'm actually it, but I can give you a high five. Okay. <laughs> hey, at least she got a high five. Better than being rejected, I guess. You're special. What makes me special? Yeah. Um, I'm nice. <laughs> Abby, what makes you special? What makes me special? I think that I'm a really good friend. And yeah, I think I'm a really good friend. Thank you so much. Have a good night. <laughs> These girls are whack. Well, those are definitely good characteristics to have, but is it really that monumental to be a good friend and a nice person? It's awesome of her to put up with his shenanigans. Many people don't get this lucky. Boyfriend? No. Let's go find you one. Let's All go. Right. What's your type? Tall. Like six feet? Like, we're going six, five and above. That's gonna be hard to find you a guy. <laughs> it well, is. Trust me, I got it. That's so why I don't have I'm, a boyfriend. I'm the Rizzler, though. All right. You gotta trust the process and it'll happen. Okay. All right, what about that guy? He's, he's pretty tall. He's like six, five. <laughs> no. Yo, my boy, my boy. <laughs> Not him next one, next one, let's go. What about this guy? Might as well yeah, try it. for sure. Yo, my boy, my boy. Oh, my homegirl thinks you're a 10 out of 10. Okay. How are you doing? Vincent. Right around the scale, one to 10. Wow, wow. this is so Little booty. Yeah. Like a five, six. That's not nice. Uh, uh, he asked him what he would rate her, and he came through with complete honesty. Sometimes being truthful is better than lying. Okay, do you think it's okay if married men check out other women? Married men check out other women? Yeah, do you think that's okay? I think it can be okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> it can be okay. Why? Well, like, <clears throat> I have a son, <laughs> right? And I all, you know, I want, I want to train him to make sure that he's checking out the right women. So I would like to keep, like, keep a sharp eye, you know, keep a sharp eye for my son. So like, I check out other women to make so sure you're that he your learns. Son. Do you want him marrying the wrong woman that you have to deal with, and those grandbabies that you have to? <laughs> it's not okay. <laughs> Where'd you get this from? I, I mean, he has a pretty good point here, but he should be very careful with how he says this. The first date, this is what a girl does to show that she has options. When the guy goes to the bathroom, have the bartenders send you a, a shot. That's insane. They, <laughs> they, Yo, they, <laughs> you have to sit there and act like someone sent you a shot. You have entered a lie uh, within the first 30 minutes of meeting a person uh, on some uh, thing that didn't need to happen. You have options. You don't need to fake it. It's just, if the date is going south, it's a little trick that you can do. I would say, who sent you the shot? I'd approach him. He'd say, what the f are you talking about? And now we have an issue. Oh, what sh**. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> So she's lying to make the man jealous. If that's what love is, I don't even know what to think anymore. You don't spend no kind of time with me. You never at home. Why you be always at home in the with street? somebody that ain't there? You always in the street. Why cook for somebody that ain't there? Cause you can't cook. Wow, don't <laughs> me and the kids. 
<laughs> I haven't laughed this hard in a while. He was just straight off the chain with it. Where are you from? Uh, London. London? All right, well, I got a bridge that needs to go down. Yeah. I got my girl here. She's looking to get laid. She's looking to do it through. I don't know if you guys are interested in that. I could just get your uh, initials here and your phone number. Yeah. Oh, She's you, world renowned. I mean, my name's Danny, but I go by Fergie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Very. Oh, it might be London, but it's an Eiffel Tower. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, that's luck with it, though. What? Uh, that's luck with it, though. You guys will have a great time. I, I yeah, do believe. I'm, I'm so excited. Not with us, but you know whoever you get for it. I'm not a. And this was just so cringe. You can tell those dudes were ready to get away from them. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Hey, look, look, you ain't got no money. You ain't cute. And you, all you have is a fat. Go check that. Go check that. Go check that. They on my she thought he was gonna break down, but when he snapped back, he went all in on her. This guy decides to ask his girl if he can go through her phone, and this ends up happening. Let's normalize being able to check your partner's phone in every relationship. Um, Aaliyah, yeah. you wouldn't mind if I looked through your phone, would you? Um, yeah, no, no, of course, like, I Oh my. I'm getting off my, look, I was gonna hear. Let's see what she has. Contacts, see, look, you probably know all those people, uh, camera roll, like, look at this. Look, see, these are the pictures, look okay, at Okay, they don't oh, even yeah. see that, they don't even. See, they... look, the next picture, yeah, look. No! They're... You guys have made it to the end. Like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. And remember, according to YouTube, the best way to help the channel and the algorithm is to watch another one of my videos right after this video. So, if you like this video, you should watch another one. Till next time.